So, I'm wanting to replace my Chico Caddy hook-on chair because our kid can easily get out of the harness. The harness is hard to tighten. <laughs> Pretty easy to get out of that, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Oh, look at that. Yep, and he's free to get on the table, which is bad. And when he gets excited or mad and bounces around, it shakes everything on the table. So I want him to go with something that will keep him secure and go on a chair. So we got the Ingenuity Baby Base 2-in-1 that we're going to try. And then I'm going to show you the unboxing of it and how to put it together, set it up, and what I think of it. So let's get started. We got this from Target. There it is. Okay, so they got a lot of the stuff hidden inside of it here. Here's a tray. So, I guess the best way to just lift up on this. Alright, so here's the back seat armrest. Nothing. Tray. It's rubber. Here's the harness that should keep the baby inside. So let's see if these are easy to adjust compared to that Chico. Oh yeah, much better. You can actually slide it. The Chico one, I couldn't get it to even tighten up. So I'm gonna have to get the baby to know exactly where he sits. But uh, I'm assuming that this will also help to keep him in place. And let's go ahead and secure it to the chair. All right, so now I'm gonna secure it to the chair. It's got itself a little trap door here, it has nothing in it, but you need to put stuff in there, I guess. Wire snitch. Okay. Do the back part first, get it secured. Let's go around it. All right, got to go around the entire back of it. So it's Does come forward, but hopefully the uh, mm -hmm. understrap will stop that.
with. I just hook in, snap, and we can tighten this bottom one up. Gonna tighten the bottom one up some more. everything. That's as tight as I can get it. So far the biggest downfall is it doesn't really secure tightly to the chair. So to fix my excess slack issue I just ran it down across one of those. That way I had uh, taken up the extra slack. I got an idea to fix this back part. So in order to actually get it to stay as close to the chair as you can, you kind of need this part to be straight and have no slack. So to get it to work, what I did is I fished it around this and back and around this and back. In order to get it to, in order to get these straight so it would, wouldn't slide forward and then tighten it up. Just need to tighten it up a bit more. Now it's tight. There we go. It's stuck in place now. Alright, so to get it apart and store some parts, there is a button on each side like this one. Push that in. Slide that out. Pretty simple. Pull these off. Put it back in. So when you want to store this, you just slide it right there. So that's kind of nice. Yeah. Hey, Reggie. How's your new seat? So he's strapped in. He ain't getting out. And the only thing that I had issues with with the strap was it was hard to get this middle thing up between him and the and the seat. 
Other than that, he ain't going anywhere. He ain't getting on the table, right, Ray D? I've been using it for a week now, and I'm very happy with it. It does the job. So it does collect a lot of food down in this area. Uh, I might just pull the rubber parts off and let them sit in it without the uh, foam because it is also hard to get this up and through. Kind of have to, uh, kind of have to set it like that before I set them in the seat, just so I can get a hold of it, and pull it up. So I'm gonna try it without the foam, and. In either case, it, uh, it's great. does a job. I'm very happy with it. So, thanks for watching.